everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Sasha and the big bag the big bag and hello everybody who's been watching me hey to all my subscribers what's up how you guys doing so I'm just gonna rip this bag open this is the big one and I'm, I apologize ahead of time for moving super fast because I'm gonna move super fast in this one because that last video was 13 minutes and it was probably half the amount of this bag so I'm trying to get it all into one bag so I'm gonna see how I do but I have some beautiful fabrics here that I know you're gonna love you guys really seem to enjoy that last video and I want to thank you so much for all the likes and views that videos got I'm like woo wow <laughs> that's my first video that did so great so apparently you guys love this because everyone is looking out for these patterns and yeah it kind of makes me want to go to another um hobby lobby but i don't i don't want to do that i already bought 50 of these so all right let's get into it and if you haven't subscribed and you love fabric go ahead and subscribe i mean what are you waiting for Okay, let's start with this. This is a uh, knit pattern. Super nice. I like it. It has darts in the back. I don't really like um, knits having darts in the back. Especially, I wouldn't put the darts in. I would just probably just kind of taper the sides in some more so it could come in more fitted. Because it already has the tie. So that's already going to bring you in. I don't, I don't like darts on knits. I feel like it's unnecessary. If you want the shape, just, you know, just cut the shape. But anyway, this is really nice. Um, yeah, it's a knit, straight top, I mean dress, or you could do it in some t-shirts. Yeah. Okay, then I have this. It is a kind of jacket throwover type of thing, which I think is nice. I like it. Only thing I don't like about this is the drop sleeves, but I'm sure I could fix that if I wanted to. But other from that, it's okay. And then look at this cute little outfit for the girls. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. It's like a a jumper. Is that what we call these? Pullover? Overalls? Yeah. So this is really cute. And uh, I like that it comes with a top. Or you can make a regular little t-shirt with it. It's just also going to be cute. But I just love these little... Um, I just said it. But you know what I'm talking about. But this one is really nice. And I, I have a fabric haul for you guys coming up shortly in the uh, next couple of videos um, from Joanne. So next is this um, top. It's not knit. But I just thought it was really cute and dainty. And I like it. I like the... I like sleeves that are kind of like... Like this. Don't mind the nail, people. We need to fix that ASAP before a needle goes through it again. Not through this finger, but through any finger. <laughs> yeah, so I like those. And also, another top pattern. Really cute and simple. Kind of like, this is an older pattern. Kind of like, I kind of like that feel. So, you know, if you put these in a really nice, um, a really nice lightweight fabric, these will look really nice. And next is this baby pattern. I love the dress on this one and the shorts, but I really love the dress. This one as well. Love all the looks on this. Love all the looks on this. This is literally like a whole wardrobe of this or a collection. This is really nice. Yeah, I love everything. I love that it goes up to a size 16. So for the bigger girls. And this one. This one is really cute. I always wanted like a jean kind of skirt pattern. And this is it. Even though they have it right here. Like it doesn't have to be in jean. And I think I might have some fabrics. That will look really great in this type of fabric. Um, some kind of satin. I don't know if that's what you call satin crepe. But um, we shall see. So much of these things I want to make. Is like am I ever. Like I want to make so much things. Like I even found some more patterns on my table. That I, I want to make up. Differently from what's back here behind me. So give me strength <laughs> so this one i really like the scallop edge for the dresses this is why i got it for the scallop edge i've always liked that design i might have this part on but i don't think i do but it's really nice and i love the straight skirt and i also like the flared um fit and flare skirt which is really nice and this one i think i have this already but you can't have too much so 
This one is really nice. Um, it's just a wrap skirt and the crop top. Really cute. And I also got this. It is also dresses and jumpers and rompers. This is really awesome. I really like this pattern. And I hope you're seeing the numbers because I'm not saying the numbers. I'm just kind of showing you the pictures. Oh, look. This one is nice for the babies. Really, really, really cute. I can't wait to make this up. I can't not wait to make this up. This is really cute. I love the dresses. I love the... I love everything about this pattern. Super cute. Let's check if it's in there. Okay, it's in there. <laughs> Felt kind of light. Okay, next one is this. Um, I think I got this one for the little cardigan that comes with it. Um, the little jacket. I think that's really nice. Okay, and this one also got it for the jacket and the t-shirt and the pants and the skirt. I got it for everything. <laughs> and that one's really nice as well. Um, it's back. And I also got this, and I think I have this in another McCall's pattern. Um, yeah, because <sighs> that's a whole nother video, but, um yeah this is really nice this is really nice love this and this one is a his and hers um kind of like lounge set or yeah just for you know it has hoodies and stuff like that yeah so this is the men's and this is the woman's side so yeah I think I got it for the crop tops and the the hoodie. And next is this really cute. Oh wait, no, it's totally on here. Next is this really cute dress. I like the the seem like elasticated detail in the waistline, and I also like the back how the back is, but it has a collar and a collar stand. But I like the back. Sometimes I don't like yokes in the back. I mean it's traditional it's classic but sometimes i can't be bothered to put on a yoke who else is with me <laughs> but it makes it look nice and kind of holds it firm like if you're making a dress shirt yes definitely put the yoke but sometimes some shirts don't really need it and i also like this i really like this one with the hoodie it is for knits and it's for little girls really cute and we're almost done Okay, so I got this for the top. Isn't that top just so delicious? I really love the top and I love the darts in the back. I love the darts in the back and I think it's the same kind of darts in the front. But I love the sleeve. Look at the sleeves. Really nice. Really love the sleeve. And just, I, I like the style. I like the style and I'm sure we could do a lot more things with the sleeve variation there and I like this top I mean this dress for the front and the back get excited about the back okay I really like the cut off neck I feel like that is flattering on me and other people too but it's a really cute simple design and I like how they have it in the gingham here I don't have any I mean I do have a few patterns I could make this up in. I hope it's easy. It looks easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is really nice. It's for knits. I really like that cardigan. That cardigan is super cute. because It's like a wrap front. I definitely don't have anything like this cardigan. And I think the pants are slightly belled bottomish. And then this one, I like these coordinate sets. I call them coordinates. I think that's what they used to call them. Because it kind of goes with everything. You get tops, bottoms, and a jacket. And I really like the cardigan and also the t-shirt that's with it. The pants looks pretty cool too. And the skirt. So basically, I like everything about this. <laughs> and then get excited about this wrap. I have so many wonderful ideas for this. I think I've been wanting this pattern for a while but it was always sold out so i'm happy to get my hands on that and also we have another crap top here i like the off shoulder detail on that i really like that and i like the skirt i like the long skirt kind of um fitted with the slit i really like that i would make it 
super longer but you know the models are pretty tall and i'm pretty short so maybe it'll be good enough for me and this is a wrap skirt and this is the back i like it and it has pockets on the sides that's a really cute detail okay this is the last bunch and some more cute little jumpers <laughs> cute jumpers for the babies really nice love that okay get excited for this another jumper dress set and these have little bell bottoms on them and i think that is something i cannot wait to make and i really like wrap i mean the yeah wrap tops um yeah i think this is gonna be great because i've been making some stuff like kind of like that in mixing and matching patterns but now i have everything all in one and i love these tops they are so simple they are so cute and depending on the fabric you use with this you can really make some great stuff so it doesn't have darts in the back it has two bust darts and it says it's super easy and it has slits on the side i really like that and another cute little girls pattern i really like this and i really like the cross back detail in the back it's not showing too much but it's still super cute really love that really love the skirt as well really nice and i think this one might be everyone's favorite i think i've seen everybody haul this one but i really like it i think it's a really nice cute dainty top and dress it's super cute it has buttons in the back buttons in the back of the top or the dress which is really nice i'm sure you're not even going to use those buttons because who's gonna who's who's gonna do this like seriously <laughs> so you can probably omit that if you want to you know because it is just kind of like a pull-on type of thing so i feel like i would knowing me i would totally omit those buttons in the back save me buttons save me time and headache of putting in buttonholes um and sewing on buttons and here is this um what do you call this again uh bomber jacket i have a few bomber jacket patterns but i like to get different variations of them just because just because okay and last but not least i got this nurse's uniform um pattern just because maybe one day I could make nurse's uniform who knows <laughs> so I got this just just because just because okay and if you have gotten to the end that's it empty bag here if you have gotten to the end of the video thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I will see you in my next one bye